Okay, um, my friend here says about um, Hi Night Shooter, how I can have a transaction form for e-commerce in Bootstrap Studio and see this. So when you, you click on the link he's put in here, you see this, which is part of uh, Bootstrap Studio's um, form thing for uh, e-commerce. Okay, I think um, Gentian asks questions. I think a lot of a lot of you would actually like to. What moves a bit scared though? Um, there's no need to fear because this is the way you learn. Anyway, so basically, what he's what this is is actually um, I'm not sure if it's on Bootstrap Studio um, earlier versions, but uh, what it definitely is here, and it's called Pretty Product List. Okay, so you've got your iPhone 6 is the example and buy now buttons and again in bootstrap studio. This is a layout. It, it's not any work and functional thing at all. So let's see what we can do with that. Eh? Um, so I've got three pictures here and these are three product shots and we're just going to throw them into the mix there. So all right, the first one is um, it's just serial and we just put that in there, drag and drop, knock this one down, which is the iPhone. And obviously you're not going to pay nearly $600 for a bowl of cereal, really, are you? And Hagen Das, which is ice cream. And we just get rid of that as well. Okay, so now we're going to have our own, um, just our own pictures. And this is, if we pretend this is, um, you know, our particular shop and this is what we're going to sell to customers this is how we've got to view this and on here and um, the iPhone if we just click on there and we'll get rid of this and we just call this uh, serial I think for now so serial okay and the same for this one here and we just call this Hagen or ice cream whatever you want and we just call this Hagen. And again, this is just some tonic water. Um, tonic water. Okay, so we just get that 6S off there. Okay, so now, um, you you know, this is the Laura Mipson dollar thing. Again, this is just uh, fill in HTML stuff and you can put whatever you want about your product, for example. Okay, so... As I say, if you if we just go on a preview here, um, and I've got mine in Edge. If anybody's watched the challenge, I use Edge as the browser because of everybody will have it on Windows. Okay, so you'll see this now, and I think that looks pretty good. Um, if you go down into responsive, this is something that you'll see, and it still it still looks quite nice. And but the buy now thing um, doesn't do a thing all right so um, if we go into what I'm going to use here is PayPal okay and PayPal is as probably a lot of you know you probably have got PayPal accounts yourself even if you're not web designers or web developers or anything just this is the way you uh, bank or uh, you know pay for things online um, so basically what PayPal can do for you. You can actually use PayPal as you've probably seen a million times on the web, and really for for um, you know things like you use for e-commerce sites. You can use Shopify, Magenta. Um, I think it's WorldPay or something like that. And you can also integrate PayPal with these, but you can also use PayPal by itself, as you probably all know. So anyway, I'm just going to log in. If you haven't got an account, you know, you can sign up and uh, get yourself an account. And whatever you do with this, don't be fearful. This is the thing is you don't want to fear. Um, when it comes to money and things like that, you know, if you're building the site for yourself and you just want to sell a few products, this is probably as good a way as anything else. Well, I've got me, um, you know, I've got me PayPal account here. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have an account where that money goes into. Um, if you want me to go over this in detail, I don't know how interested you guys are going to be on about this, but if you want to go into detail, I'll show you how you you, you actually set this thing up, you know, totally. Um, 
But of course, like, you know, your account, your bank account is your bank account. If you just want to set that up, you probably have something set up. But if you haven't, um, it's not too difficult to do. And, and that's um, where your money will go to. So for example, you've got products you're selling and you just want a, a PayPal account for, for people to put on there. You have a bank account and that just goes into there. So what you would have to do here though is here's tools, okay? So you can see that. So you've got, PayPal, you've got invoicing, request money, resolution, etc. Well, what you want to do there is PayPal business setup, okay? So um, I clicked on that. Hopefully that's going to come up sometime. Um, today I've got slow internet speed. So oh, come on. Right, it's away now. Okay. So on your website, it's got here payment processing. And it's got now, how do you want to set up your PayPal on your website? If you work with a the developer, they can help you with this. So this is important. There's a compare options thing here, okay? So option A, for example, if you're working with a, a web developer or something like that, they can do this for you, but option B. So, and there's got, do I need program skills? Well, if somebody's gonna do it for you, obviously not. Um, how do I get started? Follow your partner's instructions to add PayPal. Anyway, this is, we're gonna go for op option B. It's a little bit more difficult, so this here, but it's not too, it's not delving too much. It's quite easy, PayPal. Option B, create payment button using basic HTML. Okay, so I'm just going to go through that with you. Um, and what we'll do here, so what we're going to do is option B. Okay, so create a payment button. Um, and when that starts to, to load. Okay, so you've got now, here you've got this. So you've probably seen this, your customer's view. So for example, if you have a site, this is what I will be seeing on your site, okay? So for example, um, buy now button, you can have a shopping cart, which is up there. So you see a change there, and you can have donations button as well, okay? So subscriptions and inst installation plan and all the rest of it. But we can have a buy now for, for now. Um, just one thing I forgot to do here is change the money on here because you don't want to pay $600 for a bowl of cereal really, do you? Um, if we just want to put that in to save something for £3 direct, and that's about right for cereal in the UK, I think it'd be about right. And this here, uh, Hagen Das, is quite expensive, which is putting the three quid on there, not 39 um and here for ton of water for a can of ton of water like that i think that would be something around 70 pence oh, maybe it's not even that um it was, uh, it was 70 uh you just get the idea you yeah, you know i'm not some uh yeah something like that um so anyway i'll, I'll just uh yeah that's that's fine three pound and three pound for cargo and das etc so okay so we're going to put item name and we're going to put in the first one which is breakfast uh, breakfast cereal eh? okay right id item id what's this you can do that you can put an id if you want you don't need to okay so it's already in gb money okay but you can wherever you're living around the world there's um, loads of things there for uh paypal okay so what you would do is you just put three uh three pound in there okay so you can customize the button as well add a drop down menu so for example you've got a few you know you've got a few different prices um that's what you can do with that like i'll i'll just show you an example of this um all right okay so there you have your your 25 pound medium 25 large say for example that would be for t-shirts or something like that um of course i don't know what you're going to be selling but these are just examples uh the postage you specific amount if you're doing free postage which is something i always advise actually um i think you should just put the money on top what you got want to pay that's just my viewpoint um anyway so what you need to do use my secure merchant account id 
uh, your merchant account thing is what you your uh, actual bank account and everything like that is. So what I'm going to do is create the button. Okay. So here we are. So right, this is going to be this on the right hand side. Okay. So if you just select code, all right. Okay. So you put this, copy it, and we'll go back to Bootstrap Studio. All right. So now we're going to put in there. Buy now. All right. There's the button there okay and we convert that to html easy custom code for that your edit code okay um and we just come over here all right and we just go control v okay so we apply that now all right so now this is what we're going to we're just going to preview that now if you see so right preview there okay open browser right now that you've got this see this is now your buy now button and this is uh see it wasn't too difficult to do really was it so we just put in buy now okay and again um people you've seen this before this is now on paypal it's all live okay so you've got to work an example of how to do your first e-commerce transactions if you like but uh, this is just gonna there's always two options with paypal there's you can go through your paypal account to pay things or like me i've got a paypal account where i never use it okay so you check out as guest all right um but of course most people probably pay by paypal if they've got an account but it's just me i don't i just I don't know why I don't. Anyway, so you just use your card number, uh, your expiry date, your last name, and all the rest of it. Okay, your billing address, and you and you've seen all this before. I'm sure if you're a, you know, if you see if you've been on computers a little while, you've probably seen this before, and then you pay now. This is live, as I said, uh, so you know probably best not to to pay out, you know, or check out, um, unless maybe you just want to do it as a pound and just to see if it works if you've got um you know your bank account set up etc okay so i mean the same thing would apply to this one here all right so you just get your buy now and you just go here on the left hand side convert just do that again convert to html okay custom code edit code you do exactly the same thing as you did before okay with the form apply and now you got that on there okay so that's the same price actually um when you go back to this that's i've got that as uh that should be no points seventy shouldn't I? you can tell it's early in the morning for me <coughs> there that's right okay so then you will have to go back to paypal all right and then what you would do with that is then you would just this might go back to the home page to be honest um no it doesn't um so right okay all you would have to do to change that is you put in put in where it is okay so it's going to be tonic water and you would put in 0.70 okay because that's gp um these cans are probably cheaper than that but that's the that's the idea on there there's a slight mistake i mean here because you have to actually see that on, on here it would come under the same as it did for the cereal so you would still have to put in um you know like you put the name of hagen for example on that one so in the second one you'd have put hagen at three pound but that's just the example i'm sure you get the idea of how that is and then you would just you know you, you would go for that i'll just show you uh ton of water again buy now and you save changes okay and this is basically how it does it and and you know that's uh you just again and then copy and you agree buy now button all right, so you got your button on the left hand side there. You just again convert to HTML, custom code, edit code, take this bit out, 
all right apply and there you go there's your 70 pence preview okay and then you've got your work and form of paypal e-commerce and that's how you do it in bootstrap studio okay so thanks for watching again